Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you guys all the different ways of connecting a mesh Wi-Fi system. In this case, I have the Deco X4300 Pro, which is a very good mesh system. I've done speed test, range test, all that stuff. Show you guys what the Deco app looks like in a separate video. Links below if you guys are interested. In this video, we're going to concentrate on the connection. So I have a typical setup from a cable modem to a standard router. I'm going to show you guys all the connections with using a three pack of this mesh system. I have a Mocha adapter, which you guys can also use. Mocha basically goes from coax to ethernet from that device to uh, give you a wired backhaul network. I have brought a splitter. So literally going to show you guys all the different connections. And if you guys need more ethernet ports, I also have an unmanned switch here. So in my example, we have a cable modem, but you might have a DSL, you might have an ONT. So in this example, we'll use this. So we have a coax coming from the wall, providing this guy internet access, and then out comes from the first port, which this is a modem only. And this, through this ethernet wire, we go to our router, which is connected to the WAN port of this, which is providing internet access. So whether you connect to this router via ethernet from one of these four ports, or you connect to its Wi-Fi, you will have internet access, again, assuming this provides that. Now, what you do is you basically replace your router. Now, if you have a cable modem, uh, a modem router built in, what I recommend is disabling the router portion of the modem by putting it in bridge mode. Typically, it's, it's some numbers on the bottom. It tells you to go to a specific IP address. I mean, it might be different for different manufacturers, but Essentially, you put it in bridge mode. If you have just a modem, you don't need to worry about that. You can just use this. All right, so now we bring along our mesh system. Now, a mesh system is basically one or more routers in a network. So in this case, all three of these are routers. However, in the same network, only the main one hooked up to the modem acts as the router. The other two are acting as nodes. This is all done automatically. You don't need to worry about anything. You don't need to set an option. Everything is done automatically. So what you do is on the Deco, we have three auto sensing ports. Unlike our router, which actually had a WAN port and LAN ports, on this one, we have auto sensing ports, which means that no matter which port you connect it to, the Deco will figure it out and it will, it will know which one is providing internet access. Now, if you have internet speeds greater than gigabit, you want to use the 2.5 gigabit port because it can handle internet speeds of up to 2.5 gigabits. But if your internet speeds are gigabit and under, you can literally use any one of these three ports. It does not matter. I, I did get a question a while ago that, hey, can I use the gigabit port because my internet speeds are slower than that and I could create a faster LAN network by going from 2.5 to the other 2.5? And the answer is yes, you can do that. However, do keep in mind, just because you have a faster LAN network doesn't mean your internet speeds are faster. So just because you use the 2.5 gigabit port doesn't mean you're going to get internet speeds that fast. So do keep in mind that's local area network speeds and that's only for devices that can even handle those speeds. So just as a heads up. So in this case, just to make life simple, I will connect it to the 2.5 gigabit port. And for this whole demonstration, I'm emitting power, but everything pretty much needs power. So do keep that in mind. So once you set this up, once you connect it, uh, you open up the Deco app. In fact, the Deco app will tell you how to connect. It'll tell you like, oh, turn off your modem, wait two minutes, and then power back on. And you know, once all the lights are on, then connect this, and then click next, and then pick your Wi-Fi name and password. Now, a few things to note. When it tells you to pick a Wi-Fi name and password, you can actually use your existing router's Wi-Fi name and password and all your devices will automatically connect to this one. But do keep in mind that the Wi-Fi name or SSID and the password, they are both case sensitive. Once that's done, it's gonna ask you to connect the other two networks to power them on. Now you have two choices. You can do a wired backhaul or a wireless backhaul. Now wired backhaul is basically when you have these connected to each other via ethernet, which is gonna provide it the best possible speed. Let's concentrate on wired backhaul first. So you get an ethernet cable, you connect it to any one of these remaining ports, it does not matter. And you grab the other end and you plug it to any one of these three ports, it does not matter. You can connect it to the 2.5, the gigabit, does, doesn't, doesn't matter whatsoever. So once you do this, you have an ethernet cable going from the main one to the secondary one. 
and now you've created a wired backhaul network. So the advantage of wired backhaul is you're gonna get consistent speeds no, no matter if you're near the main one or near the secondary one, assuming your internet speeds are less than gigabit because if it was faster than gigabit and you use this port, as soon as you come out of this port, it doesn't matter if you go into the 2.5, this one, it doesn't matter because as soon as you go out of this port, you're capped to gigabit speeds and the cable also matters as well. So if you're using a cat 5e now in this demonstration these cables happen to be cat 5e but for my network for my main network i use cat 7 and cat 8 cables which can handle up to 10 gigabit speeds and some cat 6 cables can also handle up to 10 gigabit speeds so once you do this if if you come near this guy this one you do a speed test you're going to get full speeds you get near this one let's say two or three rooms away do a speed test you're going to get full speeds doesn't matter where you are so which makes it amazing and to add a third one you basically just pick any one of these two ports it doesn't matter you could go from the 2.5 um, to it doesn't matter at all you could connect it to the 2.5 this one and boom if you've positioned this ideally in your home not too close to each other no matter where you go i mean depend if you're not living in a mansion basically but if you're living in a normal home no matter where you go, you're going to get very good speeds, you're going to get very good coverage. So overall, this is the beauty of a mesh system. Now, this is wired backhaul, and wired backhaul is not always convenient. Sometimes it's not possible, sometimes you just don't have access to things, sometimes you don't want to run an Ethernet cable. Whatever the reason is, there are alternatives. So one of the alternatives, and my preferred alternative, is a mocha adapter so what you're gonna do is if this is your internet source you unplug this assuming you're plugging this in next to your main router if, if you're plugging in next to the secondary one you know that's different but we're gonna assume this because this is probably the most common case what you're gonna do is you're gonna go get a splitter now the splitter make sure this one says mocha 2.5 and the reason why it says that is because it can handle from 5 megahertz to 1675 but really mocha just needs 1125 megahertz to 1675 megahertz you want to make sure the splitter can handle those frequencies if it cannot it's not going to work so this thing coming out we're going to plug it into this and what we're going to do is we're going to get a coax another coax okay so basically this one goes to your modem and you know spin it on and you know spin it all the way but um, for this demonstration that's good enough now the other one we're gonna go from again the same splitter and we're gonna connect it to the mocha and you're gonna spin this all the way as well and Specific to this ASUS, this is the ASUS MA25. If you have a DOCSIS 3.1 modem, this is a DOCSIS 3.1 modem. If you have a cable modem, chances are it is DOCSIS 3.1. You want to run this in mode 1, not in mode 2. If you don't, if you're running you know, fiber optic like I'm running and I want to use this, which I don't need to because I have an Ethernet, so I already have wired backhaul, but if I needed to use this, I would run this in mode Two. So both of these would be set to mode 2. But for this example, because we're using a cable modem and this is a DOCSIS 3.1, you're supposed to run this in mode 1. So set these both to mode 1. So instead of going from the main router to the secondary one, assuming that was not possible, if it's possible, you always want to go direct Ethernet. You can also go through an unmanaged switch as well. I'll show you guys that as well. But in this case, if that's, you know, you can't run Ethernet, what you want to do is you want to come and you want to connect it to this. So what this is doing is we have our cable modem. So we have our source coming in, going to our cable modem, and then we have the other one going to this. And the cable modem is hooked up via Ethernet to this deco, and then from this deco, and it doesn't matter, again, it doesn't matter which port you're using. And this is a Mocha 2.5, so it can actually handle internet speeds of up to 2.5 gigabits. Assuming your cabling in your walls can handle it, and your cables itself can handle those speeds. So that all matters. So once you do that, you plug this Ethernet to this guy, and then from this guy, it will literally, you know, just go back through your walls and then from the other side of your wall 
let's say you know two or three rooms away you find another coax port and you plug this in and if you guys are wondering this MPS button is if you have more than one mocha adapter and you want to have them on different security settings and stuff so I'm gonna omit that for this video so we're just gonna use these two so and then boom out comes this and again does require power and goes to the secondary one and again it doesn't matter which port you connect it to good to go and boom you've just created essentially a wired backhaul network not exactly really like an ethernet backhaul but pretty much almost just as good so this is going to give you really good speeds throughout as well another common question I get asked is can I mix wired and wireless backhaul and the answer is absolutely you can so you could have two wired, you can have one wireless, you can have you know two of these wireless. This this the main one always needs to be hooked up to the modem via Ethernet. So the main router can't be wireless to the modem, if that's what you guys are wondering. This one always has to connect to your modem first. So you could mix and match that. You can also go from Ethernet to this one, even if even though this one is hooked up through the Mocha. So you have lots of options from this regard. So this mesh system doesn't have enough ports. What can I do? Well, you can get an unmanaged switch and the brand name does not matter. Just like this Mocha brand name, this does not matter. This is an Asus, but you could get a different brand name. Um, it will work with this. However, for the mesh system, it does need to be a TP-Link deco. So they do need to be the same. Whereas an unmanaged switch and a Mocha adapter could be a different brand, just like the modem could be a different brand. That's also okay. Now, you could get an unmanaged switch, and this one is an 8 port. They have, you know, different sizes. They have a 4 port, 5 port, the 8, 16, 24, 32, 48, and a lot bigger than that. So, 8 is pretty common. 16 is also pretty common as well. So, if you get an 8 port, doesn't matter. You can use any of the ports you want. And you could connect this to any system you want, really. You could go from the main one. You could go from the main one. If you connect it to the main one, you can use seven other ports. There is no setting you need to set. Um, you can connect this to the last one. You can connect it to the middle one. And now you have seven other usable ports. You could connect your PlayStation, your Nintendo, your computer, your, you know, wh whatever you want to connect to this. It's literally just like connecting it to this guy or this guy or this guy. And another question I get asked is you know can I go from Ethernet so before I go to this Mocha can I go from this to this and then go from this to the Mocha and the answer is yes you can do that you can also go another question I get asked is okay well let's say my third node is wireless backhaul can I connect devices to this one? And the answer is yes. So you can hook up your computer to this. That will also work fine, even though this is wirelessly talking to the secondary one or the primary one. You can connect a switch to any one of these ports, even though this is on wireless backhaul. And, you know, if you want to connect this to your computer, boom, connect it to your computer and you're golden. Do keep in mind, though, if you connect your unmanaged switch to a node that's on wireless backhaul, you're not going to get the best possible speeds. So just keep that in mind. You, you typically get the best possible speeds when it's a wired backhaul network. So with this, hopefully that answered all the questions. If you guys have an additional questions, let me know in the comment sections below. And as always, smash that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.